Evening all. Hello, hello. Oh, good evening, Hazel. How are you this lovely evening? Yeah, thank you. Not so shabby. It could be better if it was a bit warmer, but we can't complain, can we? <laughs> it's not so bad. Yeah, I've seen, uh, you know, I'm not sure what's going on today or, or over this week. It's been, um, went to the visit family in Liverpool the weekend in Manchester. And when we left on Friday morning, it was really hot. So I was in mm. like t-shirts and shorts. I'm like, you know what? It's warm. When we got to Liverpool, it was freezing. I mean, yeah. properly cold. <laughs> and I've got, right, I've got, I'm thinking, right, Rob, I've got one pair of trousers. I've got like four pairs of shorts, all these t-shirts. I've got no jumpers or anything. And it was a very cold weekend, borrowing oh, coats no. of my friend. I thought, do you know what? This is just, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. This is July, isn't it? I know. I know. <laughs> and I thought, do you know what? This is just off the scale. Um, uh, crazy. So, um, so yes, yes, we shall wait a few moments to see who else is going to join. But a couple of people text through and say they're running late. So that's where they are. Okay, we'll go along. And then we'll get some um, advice from you on uh, social media. For my sins, I spent the last two days watching videos on Facebook marketing. I get bored really easy. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm start. sticking at it. <laughs> and it was, yeah, well, it, yeah, I, it, it was the the difference. It's setting up a Facebook page, not a page, the actual marketing side and how you've got the actual the, the two sides of I don't know why Facebook has two different ways of doing marketing there's just absolutely no logic behind it so obviously most people just use the standard Facebook page for um doing their marketing on when actually there's actually a better page for you to use but it's just not easy to get to and setting it up was uh yeah if you're not technical it's not fun yeah, and then it changes all the time as well. Like, Joe will know the same. You'll go to do something, and three months later, you'll go to do it again and go, nothing is where it used to be. And you feel like you're an idiot because you're doing it with someone at the time, and you're like, okay, the button was there, I promise. It's now yeah, just it was, gone. Was, was there, but not anymore. Um, I promise I know what I'm doing. <laughs> just, just, just disappeared and stuff. And I'm hoping we got, we got a couple of people I've got to get on who definitely, definitely need your help. Um what they do they're like small retailers i keep saying to them getting your product it goes the key for them is is it's if you sell a big ticket item it's not too bad you can you can afford to spend a lot of money on marketing when you're selling a small ticket item and the difference in two pounds is difference in profit and loss mm. sometimes doing marketing i spoke to a taxi company once and he told me it was ended up we worked out it was costing him 70 pounds Per person ended up buying a taxi from him, and he was doing ninety pound taxi journeys. And he goes, "Yeah, but it's costing me. I'm, I'm paying. I'm getting." I goes, "Yeah, but goes, but one click isn't a buy." He went, "Pardon." I went, "When someone clicks on the advert, doesn't mean they're going to buy your." He goes, "Does it?" I goes, no. He went, "Oh, I thought it did." And I said to him, "No." I goes, "That's not how it works at all." So the poor guy thought that every time someone clicked on an advert, he was getting a. a a booking for and I said no no that's not that's not how it works and when you when you're doing like that a small business at the moment mm -hmm. uh I mean I just got Chris crystals come on board Ooh. we're looking at Google looking at Google for crystal and if you want to use the term healing crystal in your Google marketing to get page on a Google to get position one now was 86 pound now if you're selling a 10 pound healing crystal you can't spend ninety pounds mm -hmm. on a click through to that. And I'm thinking, yeah. who's paying? Someone, someone's paying that, Hazel. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, 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 I'm thinking, who though? Because they what? What are they selling? Gold bars with crystal inside them. <laughs> they might be selling these, but this one cost me eight pounds from Mind, Body, and Spirit show. But some of That's them what I mean. Quite... You know, when you've got when when you when when you know the price of something and you see what they pay for the clicks. That's why sometimes. I can never suss how people pay for their marketing and it actually works. Like I said, myself, well, if they're paying for those clicks at that price, even they're doing incredibly well, they're getting a one for one hit. And then people aren't buying one thing, they're buying a hundred things, or there's people going bankrupt left, right, and center because their budgets are just through the window. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, it's um, it's it's it is it is off the scale. And believe it or not, the person who specifically I wanted you to help is Crystal. <laughs> She's on board now. <laughs> Crystal no is our. Crystal. How do how do we how do we put Crystal nicely? Picture the person hey, who you know is the worst at doing anything with technology, okay? <laughs> and then there's Crystal. <laughs> I've gotten a lot better. Maybe. We're here now. This is online. This is technical. Well done. I know how to post my blog. Um, I've had to do a lot of learning on the way, but hey. Uh, get, do you know what she's like, Hazel? She did a she did a talk at a show. And between her sister, it took them seven minutes to plug the cable from the projector into her laptop. <laughs> it didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. It was plugged in. All she had to do was press the play button. And I don't oh. know what happened. I and the worst don't... thing, the worst thing was, really, I should have helped and not stood there laughing. You should have. <laughs> You should you just watch the whole thing. And it was actually seven minutes. I was like, oh my God. I'm Honestly. not good with that. Like when something breaks, I'm like, nah, not for me. It's so annoying. It's so like, you just can't you can't, you know, do anything about like technical glitches like that. But all she had to do was hit the play button and then it just anyway, but it's fine. It's all good. You come out the other end. <laughs> yeah. Right. What we'll <laughs> what we'll what we'll do is people will come and go as we go. Okay? okay. So I shall do what I normally do, and hand over to yourself, Hazel. So you can explain to people who you are, what you do, how you can help. I do record it as well, so people that don't come on will end up mm. watching this because most of them are going to need what you're going to tell them. Okay. So I shall have my notebook ready to go, and <laughs> over over to you. Wow, thanks. <laughs> um, so I haven't prepared anything because I thought I've been in business 10 and a half years. I pretty much know what I'm doing now. Um, so I was kind of going to leave it to open to anybody for questions. But just to give you a quick brief on me. So I run the creative content company. We do content for websites and blogging. And then we do social media. So we do training or social media posting. And I think this is where I would hopefully be quite useful to you. Um, yeah, because yeah. I've spent 10 and a half years doing posts on social media pages for a variety of clients of different industries. So okay. often industries will say to us, oh, my God, our business doesn't post on social media. It does somewhere. It's just about finding the right platform for your business. So, for yeah. example, solicitors aren't great at um, or shouldn't be on Instagram because it's just not the right fit. So you're right, there are no solicitors on mm. certain platforms but because that's not the right platform for them mm. well, the, the most important well, the, thing to figure out your platform well the good thing then Hazel I can help you here I like doing the free flow because it allows me to get the questions all right so here's my <laughs> fir here's my first question okay so my first question is this right on board now you've got a bookkeeper a young lady that sells healing crystals in bottles just use the word healing crystals and that sort of um, era You've got Chris is there somewhere in the background as well. And he does like insurances and stuff. And you've got myself, who again is completely different, who does software. Okay, mm. now I've always struggled to work out who should be where and doing what. Okay, yeah. because someone tells you to do don't someone says there's no one using this platform and everyone's mm. on this platform, you've got mm. to be on this platform, you've got to post 800 times a day if it's not working, mm. and we need to beat through the myths and the incorrections mm. to, fight, to work out where, a rough idea, of what we should be doing. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's my, first, that's my first question. <laughs> I agree. I agree with all of that. Everything you just said. Good question, Rob. <laughs> Jane, are you the bookkeeper? I am, yes. Yes. Um, so I would generally speaking, you would have your places you need to be. So obviously Joe's a VA, so she's really good on LinkedIn because that's where her clients are going to be. That's who she's selling to. And the same as a bookkeeper, business owners that need a bookkeeper are also on LinkedIn. However, mm -hmm. people aren't buying crystals on LinkedIn. I so know, I know. Yeah, <laughs> people are there, and you're right, the people that are on there are buying crystals, but they're not doing it on LinkedIn. 
And the same, mm. the people that need a bookkeeper are on Facebook, but not looking for a bookkeeper on Facebook. So it's not mm. about where they are, it's where they're in the right mind to want it. Um, okay. So crystal-wise, because it's pretty stuff, which is so much easier than it is for Jane, because who wants to look at a pile part- of folders? <laughs> no offence, Jane. <laughs> Oh, we, all do, we yeah. all do things diff you know what floats my boat like rob will agree with <laughs> he finds accounts absolutely boring but i love it <laughs> and obviously crystals are pretty so i gather they would look good on tiktok yes the you don't need me <laughs> Yeah, completely right, Crystal. If you were on places like TikTok and Instagram and Facebook, are kind of the best yeah. places for you for that reason. Um, um, but then Jane, if you're sharing what you're dealing with, so when someone turns up with the old-fashioned carrier bag of receipts, and it's kind of going, "This is what it was at the beginning, and this is what it is now." I put it all into order, obviously hiding personal details, but that's much more exciting than I do bookkeeping. So it's about finding those ways of making social media interest as people do engage. And then also it's saying to them, don't be embarrassed that you've got a plastic bag full of receipts because that's what we're used to. It, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, Crystal's, Crystal's got a hand up. Yeah, I thought, sorry, I just thought yeah, I'd... Don't worry, Hazel, you'll see a lot of that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just that, so, like, with my stuff, just to give you a little, I'm not going to take up too much time, but I'm on everything. It's quite exhaustive. So I just needed to know like which ones work best. Instagram, I do get um quite like some engagement on and Facebook as well. And to be fair, and TikTok, but I, I literally have LinkedIn, YouTube. I, I suppose YouTube, I'm trying to get thingy, but LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, that's six. Yeah, that's all of them. So it's quite exhaustive. Wow. And I haven't yeah. posted for a while. I'm not going to lie to you. I've not posted for a while, for like four days. And I know that's really bad because I should have. And I'm literally, I'm just kind of going like this because I'm like, oh, I know I should have. But um, yeah, so I just need to know which ones I should focus in on. I was trying to focus in on YouTube um just so I could get my subscribers up but it's just it's really it's yeah it's really confusing it's and I guess you never put that stress on yourself so you've gone actually yeah. I can't do any of it because I've got too much to do yeah it does feel like that when I do a post it's fine I've got the post do you know what I mean I can just repurpose it on all the different things mm. but then it's kind of like I've I've had quite a lot of stuff going on um which is fine the wedding fair is done now it's over it's finished um and I'm just coming to the end of this particular course and I'm trying to watch all the videos so I'm like I can't do I was trying to post every day and it's just too much to so feel like maybe just scaling it back and posting like two or three times a week is more feasible because then I've got some content rather than no content if that makes sense um, you're definitely right what you don't want to do is say I'm going to post five times a day and then do that for five days and then yeah. nothing for like two weeks because you yeah. can't keep up it's not feasible yeah. for you to manage no. that no. the thing for you while I'm saying that Facebook Instagram and TikTok would be good for you it's yeah. also looking at where your audience are and yeah. what your audience are engaging with so I would say to use the Facebook scheduling tool which would then yeah. Instagram automatically for you if you yeah. can carve out some of your time to schedule it for the week or yeah. month ahead and yeah, then yeah. Get your results and if you're not getting anything on Instagram then save your time and hope to do somewhere else and the same it, with your TikTok videos put those yeah. on your YouTube so you're yeah. using that. sorry I, I I need to shut up you guys no, 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 you're right <laughs> no no I totally I, I agree with everything that you said but I wanted to kind of still go with the YouTube so I could get, I've got, I feel like I've got the views now. I've got like 5.5 views, but I just need um, 5.5K views, I mean, sorry. Um, but I just need the subscribers part. And it's it's just, yeah, I'm finding it a little bit of a whirlwind to keep up with. 
Um, have you had any sales from YouTube? No, no, no. Annoyingly, I've had views. Um, See, this is this one of my this this is one of my questions about the whole social media thing. Is that mm. what I've noticed is most people that do social media, they find it very difficult to turn views yeah. into sales or something else. I mean, for instance, we've had a young guy. Let me give you these stats. This will this will make you understand what I mean. I was just speaking about this, and we've got a client that runs a channel called an app called MySpec. Okay, now. This guy started this TikTok page um, eight weeks ago. All right, so he started eight weeks ago on this on this on this TikTok page. His first his first post, we're getting like one thousand views, two thousand views. Then it went thirty thousand, forty thousand, eighty thousand. In the last week, he's had two of his posts. One's hit one point six million. Okay, the other one's hit one million. My issue is, I said to him, I goes, that's great for ego, but that 1.6 million turned into zero crossovers to the business. And I said to him, that's great to look at and great for your ego, but for the business, I goes, that's just crap. I said, how do you turn that 1.6 million people into something, into buying something? Because that's an amazing number. But not to get one one person goes to the website from that. Not what I goes mathematically, you'd think someone would go. What's my spec? Just randomly, but I, no, none at all. And I I cannot suss how you can get those sorts of numbers, and it can't even equate into a visit on the website. And that's, that's exactly it. And it's all well and good, Crystal, being on YouTube and trying to boost your subscribers. If you're not getting sales from that channel, and if that channel isn't bringing traffic to your website. Mm -hmm. You're wasting your time. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a hard one. Sorry, I didn't mean to take away from Rob's <laughs> point. I was just going <laughs> to say to Rob, um, you know, when you're getting those sorts of numbers, you can enter the creator. It's like a creator program or something. When you get that many views, you get you monetize the channel anyway. You start getting paid for it. So that's my question to you, Rob. Whether that has happened, and that's yeah, but, that, yeah, but the channel. Getting, but even you're making money, you those numbers sound good to us as people, yeah. but to generate money, that's not a good number. It, I, you know, that sounds odd, Crystal, but it sounds good to us. But to TikTok, that is an insignificant number for a video of things compared to what other people are getting out there. Okay, and that's the key. And sometimes what I find the hardest thing to do is is you put all this effort into social media. Mm. And that social media, all that time, effort, blood and sweat you put into it equates to literally nothing. Zero. Yeah. Zip, OK, I'm thinking people are watching this video, yeah. obviously interested. Is this is is it the is is it is the message wrong, Hazel? Is are we met? Is the message not being are we not telling people to buy? Go and buy now. Well, it depends who you are. So, Crystal, it doesn't matter who you are because i'm buying the crystal when it comes to jane and joe i care who you are because i need to trust joe if she's going to be my va i need to trust her to be able to do all the stuff for my business i need to trust jane that she's going to sort my bookkeeping out and i want people that i'm going to be able to speak to either every week or every month or whatever but when mm. it comes to crystal i don't care who you are as long as the crystal i get is amazing i'm happy to keep buying crystals from you so it's okay. nice to have the other side to your business but you should be focusing on the sales. Meanwhile, Joe and Jane, mm. you should be focusing on you because you're who mm. I'm buying. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So I'm dealing um, with Joe and Jane. I would be dealing with Joe and Jane all the time. So that's where I, I did say to, I have said to Jane that she needs to be in the social media herself. So part of it, it's because the people are buying in because when you want, because out of all the things around us, Jane's got the most important business because someone's trusting you with all their money. And that's, you know, and that's, you know, that's a massive thing to do. You know, hold on a minute. Here you go. Here's access to everything I've got. Okay, please um, sort it out. So they trust me, first of all, to sort the books out properly. And secondly, not to ring them from the Bahamas and go, your accounts are dumb, but there's no money left. <laughs> it's all <laughs> gone. It's all gone. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah. So with Crystal then, she should do more videos that are saying 
click here now, buy this now, do this now. So it's like guiding people. Okay, Crystal. So that's what we got to look. So we've I Jamie I, got to I, look at. Can I can I say something? Yeah, go on, mate. So I, I think Crystal needs to educate people on the different crystals and what they do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she does this, by the way. So I'm just this is my just my suggestion. She potentially needs to educate them <clears throat> um, through the videos. Yeah. She she needs she needs she needs to grab a headline for the videos. So mm. I've done I've done like a three day YouTube course. So she needs like yeah. a. A grab a headline which you can ask AI for about certain crystals where people think, Oh, what's yeah. this? So something controversial, something like yeah. um, did you know crystals can stop uh, an illness or something like do, do you know what do you know what I mean? Something so people are straight away intrigued, oh what's this? And then secondly, yeah. I don't know I don't know if you can actually do like a subscription based something subscription based for a crystals yeah. where someone gets a I don't know if say a crystal's a tenner a month, uh, sorry, a tenner a crystal. They can get a, one crystal a month. Um, she can promote it for obviously for people's birthdays as well and anniversaries and special things in the year, like I don't know, mm -hmm. Easter. Do you, know, kind of do, you know what it, do you know what it is, Chris? Okay, is yeah. this is what it is, is we all go into these courses. Okay, now we've tried this with Crystal, we've, we've tried doing these different types of things, and Crystal has Crystal does do crystal lessons. <laughs> Yeah, she, she does, she, she's been doing it. She's been posting things on what crystals are, how they work, yeah. what they do. We've I done snazzy videos from that, by the way. I did get good engagement on my Pinterest. People keep saving all those crystal lessons, I get them almost every couple of days. So I know that it is working, right? So, um, that's, that's, so, so maybe, so maybe, you, you should, maybe you should change it into some, um, a, uh, a course. A course that you can sell maybe cheap. And I don't then... really think much about crystals, Chris. I mean, I, I know a bit, but I don't consider myself a, you know. Yeah, but you don't have to. You don't have to. AI right? does. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. There but you then go. Even with AI, Chris, what you're doing is again is you're now setting yourself down the path. Even if AI is doing it. You've still got to make it look good, put it together, and then try and sell the course. When what you really want to do is sell the crystals. That makes sense. So you get your, yeah. your it, it's and what we keep doing is I've noticed this is we but a, co a course can be a lead a course can be a lead to buying the crystals. Maybe it, it I... could be, but then you've got to put the same effort in Chris as in to getting someone to get the course as getting someone to buy the crystal. Makes sense. So either way, you've got to put effort in to doing something. So yeah, I agree. I agree with that, but. Let's be a course. She can she can set up a, two courses, do it once, and it's there forever. It's not like it's it's not like she has to do it every. She's not like she has to do a course every single day. You can do a course, spend two days doing two courses, and then that's it, isn't it? She's and then she can carry on with the sales. But the courses could lead could lead to the sales. Do you know what I would say to that, Chris? Is actually I I I do have a contacts a rolodex now of people and some of them are crystal healers some of them work with crystals that'd be quite a nice thing to team up with someone um yeah, adventures. To go down that route rather than me doing it because i'm i feel like a bit of a phony like i know about crystals and i know i know how to put it in a product but i don't want to um you know go down that route because I'm not educated in that way to do it. And there are some people that really are. Um, well, so I wouldn't again, want to take away from that. Yeah, again, well, obviously you could do joint ventures with someone mm -hmm. who, who, yeah. who does it. And maybe yeah. start, start a subscription business with them. As in, yeah. you you provide the crystals, they educate they educate the people. As long as mm -hmm. obviously you trust them. And yeah. then that way, you've got, that way you've got two audiences combining and you might have something that you charge people with, I don't know, ten pound a month for education, twenty pound for a crystal a month in education, I don't know. I do need something which is a bit more subscription based because these products are it's like trying to flog I don't know, trying to take a horse to water, you know. It's just like you can take it there but you can't shove the horse's head in the water box so it's uh it just feels like that sometimes i know i'm getting there i'm getting there the name's getting out there but it's not reflected in the revenue yet i think it's so going to be a great idea if you were to do um like a month i'm sorry a quarterly seasonal box mm. 
and then you get a free crystal or the inclusion in your price a free crystal for your birthday then it's kind of that added so you've got those things to help you through the different seasons mm. what I was going to say in regards to your social media because you're saying yeah. you're blogging as well I would look at those national months so for example if and it isn't if Ju- if July was national wellness uh, national mental health month you put together a blog post about the benefits of crystals and mental health and the different crystals that help with different areas of mental health. So like the whole anxiety, the good mood, everything like that. And then That's sharing true. snippets of that into yeah. your social media, kind of scheduling that in advance. If you yeah. put together top 10 benefits of crystals for mental health yeah. and yeah. you've got 10 snippets you can share on your social media. That, thank you because like I even had a, a scheduler I had a whole calendar and I did all this work and I've just life you know things get in the way and I just hadn't really looked at it like normally when an event is coming up like a full moon or something which is soon actually it's on the 5th I need to ask Rob to do me a video um <laughs> if you're on the call Rob I'll ask you now but anyway it's it's really good to have stuff like that because mm-hmm. I've done all that work. I've just not looked at the bloody calendar. And normally I would pull out crystals to help with this or letting go of the past day. You or see, Hazel, this is how she got so in she got so in depth in posting stuff. Wait for this. There's one main day every year for crystals. Okay, it's called the equinox, and she forgot about it. Hey. Okay, now that she was so engrossed in doing everything else, she nearly missed the biggest one, which was the equinox, because everyone is getting there with their crystals and above their hair and on the, on the one day when everyone's doing it, and she was so sidetracked on the small bits, she missed the big one where she got on a, a big run up, you know, an equinox running the things, you know, your equinox box, your Halloween box, whatever it is, your Christmas box, you know, your spring box, your going to winter. And it, they're, they're all there. In fact, she has mm. been, I think, on several occasions, a vampire has said to her to do she a has. subscription box. She has. She said to because um, people like to buy stuff. They, they know each month they get something different comes through the post to them. And it's a box mm. of stuff that all comes through with a little mm. note telling them what the crystals do. Mm. You my, know, people, my, other tips, you know, my other two tips would be follow, follow someone, if there is someone on social media or, or YouTube that, does crystals already? Who's quite successful? Got a big following. Yeah, that might be, yeah. that, that might be a way. And my other, and my other tip is to find the just to find someone who you part who, who you could partner with who, who have a big following, who you could say, I don't know how much the margins per crystal or per box are, but you could say to them, obviously you can have a percentage if you just if you obviously talk about this to your audience, and obviously yeah. the audience. Okay. Could, sh- should be relevant to the crystals. That makes sense. I think so like that's where, um, yeah, I think that's yeah. where guest blogging can really help as well. So guest blogging, if you don't know, is where you're posting on someone else's page that is similar to you. So, for example, Jane, as a bookkeeper, if you could team up with an accountant, you can create a blog post for their website. They're happy because it means one less blog post for them to write. But it's also your content going out to their audience. So you're not taking that business from them. You're saying how a bookkeeper can make an accountant cheaper. Interesting. Because you're kind of doing the work at the beginning. And it's quite a nice way to get you to a new audience. And luckily, Jane, you're now an accountant. (laughs) Yeah, I've I've already discussed that. I have actually um, sent Helen an email this week um, and just said, hi, how's things? Obviously, she's... um, She's uh, working out a notice where she works to obviously then go um, all on her own. So, uh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, definitely that evens up with business coaches as well. Oh, sorry, Chris. No, go on, sorry. (laughs) Um, Even business coaches as well, because you're talking about how, by having the bookkeeping, I know where their finances are at, so it makes business planning a lot easier. So creating that for a business coach website, again, it's they're your audience. It's just finding a new way of getting to the audience. Yeah. Got just got. Sorry, to... Rob. Oh, wrong. Sorry, Chris. Do you want? To I, was, I, was, I was just going to ask who the who the accountant is because obviously I do insurance. So, who's Helen? Yes, Helen. Yes, Helen. Chris said obviously as an insurance guy, where would you suggest he best places 
himself social media wise because obviously that's a bit of a different one as well also chris <laughs> is a is he, he he likes the camera and he'll even dance and sing as well but you want to know uh, who helen is i don't know who helen is no sorry helen no chris. He helen's, helen, um, the helen's an accountant we know from um uh another networking that rob and i go to oh, okay and she does normally come onto this, but again, she's messaged me with about eight people saying they're all running late um, with that as well. So yeah, so she's yeah, she's an accountant who sits next to Jane at most meetings. And I'd one day suggested to them maybe they should work together, being a bookkeeper yeah. and accountant. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, because obviously a lot of people do use an accountant for their bookkeeping and their year end. I don't do year-end accounts um i didn't do the course i'm i'm not interested in the course i like as hazel said someone comes to my door with a big bag of receipts i sort <laughs> them all out i upload them onto a software i get them put into the account and then i go to the accountant and say here's hazel's accounts everything's on the computer everything reconciles and then obviously I give it to the accountant to prepare the year end. Had a bit of a bad experience with a previous accountant that I had been working alongside. Mm. And he took four of my clients off me. Because <gasps> I'm going to tell you, I, I couldn't work out how he could undercut me. But then somebody explained it to me. He's only doing half the job I was doing. He doesn't upload any invoices. He doesn't reconcile any of the accounts. He's just cash coding them. So if those four clients that I did have ever get a VAT inspection and Mr. Batman says, where's your VAT receipt for this fuel? And they mm. can't provide it. Mr. Vatman is going to come down on them like a ton of bricks and they're going to pull all their accounts to bits. So, uh, yeah. yeah. And that's so, a really good blog post to talk about if you found yeah. an accountant yeah. cheaper, then make sure they're doing this, this and this. Yeah. So it's yeah, kind of you're not... being that helpful friend by giving them warning that maybe they're not getting everything that they think they're getting. No, because I said to, once I met Helen, I said, would you be interested in working with me? Mm. I do the bookkeeping, you do the year end. And she said, yes, of course I would. And she said, why do you ask, why do you say it like that? And I said, well, I've known this guy since we were teenagers and I'm the same mm. age as Rob. And, you know, knowing somebody since we were teenagers and that's what he went and done to me, um yes mm. i still have to work with him because i've still got a few clients that are his clients as well so i make it very professional not you know um but yeah that i you know obviously it makes me very wary of mm. accountants mm. because yes they could undercut me but they're gonna they're only gonna do half the job and i'm not mm. gonna change the way i work because obviously mm. my principles and my yeah. ethics of doing the accounts absolutely correct and as they should do, you don't give me a receipt and your VAT registered, I'm not claiming the VAT. It's as, as it, it's as easy as that. Your accounts are only as good as the information you give your bookkeeper. Mm. So, and again, that's a really good blog post. Oh, what do you need to give your bookkeeper? And then again, every time you've got those snippets, they're all snippets you can use on your social media. Yeah. So the more of those you've got, if you're doing one of those a month and each one's got five bullet points, you've got five posts for the next month. You've got 10 uh, social media posts for the month after. You've got 15 for the month after. And suddenly I'm you're not, not in Crystal's position because you've got everything ready for yeah. you. I'm not saying all accountants do what he's done, yeah. but to be able to get work I was doing and obviously mm. undercut me the only way he can do it is have a bank statement and cash code them and he doesn't know whether that end client has got any of those receipts 
because they're VAT registered, he's putting everything through with VAT. So if you've just got a bank statement with 20 transactions, it's not going to take him long to zip yeah. through those. But mm. if you've got 20 invoices that, first of all, you've got to scan them, then upload them, get them on the account system, then get the payment to reconcile with it, to clear down and then reconcile the bank, that's obviously going to take twice, three times as long. Mm. So, uh, you know, I would say I'm not bitter, I've moved on, um, but of course it's still mm. in the back of my mind that I've also got another local accountant that I've befriended um, and he said to me, don't do bookkeeping, Jane. He said, if you can do the bookkeeping for me, I can do the year end. So I'm hoping to do a bit of work. Well, I've, mm. I've got one client and she is going to go to him for the year end. So, uh, yeah. 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 Brilliant. But uh, I've just seen, uh, just one second. Uh, happy birthday, Patrick. Happy Aww. birthday, Patrick. Oh, happy That's birthday. Thank you. Well, not today. It was it was last Friday, but I oh, like yeah. to stretch these things out, and no, I was too. taken out from me. <laughs> yeah. I, I was taken out from meal tonight. You know, so it's very nice. I would yeah. sing, but I don't want to make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to ruin my birthday, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, where are we up to as far as um, is it, uh, as far as this meeting and well, social media? I can, I can help you out here now. Here's a new one for you, okay, Hazel. Patrick runs a radio station. Amazing. Okay. I can so tell by the voice. Now you've said it. Yes, you're right. That's like, definitely. Thank you. Some people fit the job, and definitely, <laughs> if he has the voice for radio, he does. not the face Thank for you. radio. Actually, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you a secret. I'll tell you a secret. I used to be a BBC television continuity announcer. So you probably, yeah. if you've watched the BBC, year, we're talking back in the nineties. You know, you Obviously, probably I wasn't born, so. Oh, there you go, already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, okay. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, Harmony Radio is um, my music platform, and I'm just applying for a DAB licence um, in a couple of areas. Uh, Amazing. So it's, it's burgeoning and it's starting up slowly, slowly, slowly. That's brilliant. So, so what are you trying? With, with, Go on. with Patrick, he's going to be doing Bournemouth? Yes. Um, that's not until probably next year, but um, there's a couple of areas uh, that I'm applying for. Is um, One is East London, um, mm. and then uh, there should be another one on the South Coast. Um, so, But they'll, they'll need some sort of social media marketing. Well, this was my question. So what are you doing? What are you hoping to achieve with your social media? Are we looking for sponsors for the show? Are we looking for advertisers? Are you looking for people to be on the show? Or are you looking to get the name of the show out there? The name of the show out there and really to get a, a, as many older listeners as possible. So the, the, the platform is um, geared towards sort of 55 plus upwards. But actually the music is, um, I, I would imagine, 30 and 40 year olds would probably enjoy it as well because I play a lot of 80s and 90s music and it's all non-stop. It's quite an automated platform without it sounding automated. That's the, the sort of key to make it sound as though somebody is there, but it is properly automated and as an alternative to the hearts and the magics and smooth and everything. So and not too much clutter. So um you know, it's news on the hour, a bit of weather, and it's um, music for a full hour. Commercials probably up to to the news, so you get a sweep of music. Um, mm. And it's ideal if you're working from home because you can you're not concentrating on what people are saying so much and conversations. You don't have to engage too much, but the music's there in the background, really. So it's listeners and advertisers, and there'll be sponsors enough really just to 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 pay for itself really i'm not looking to be you know some multi-millionaire out of it really but um and just to get the name out really that's yes. that's the plan really so Actually, can i can i have just a quick question yeah 
how long how, how long did it take you to create a radio station? Because I've I've often thought of creating a radio, uh, a radio station that's not music, but it's for entrepreneurship and motivational and mm. mental right. health. I mean, you can set up a, a radio station in a month in a in a few weeks. I've just you know I've taken four years, you know, but um, the problem with editorial stuff it needs lots of bodies it needs lots of people and it's you know and you've got to create the content if it's not music then it's going to be speech and that does require quite a lot of uh people involved really because what you don't really want to be doing is sit sitting there all day presenting and producing and editing this content and you haven't got time to do anything else, unless you've got enough money to hire people, to bring people in, different voices. Ideally, you, you, you do need different voices to make it more interesting. As, I know, think it was going to be more... Just... I think it was going to be more like you play a Jim Rowan track, you play a, a, a Les Brown track, you've got a bit... That kind of thing. Would that be... Do you think that's a feasible thing? I've, I've thought about it for years, yeah. to be fair. Yeah, I mean, I would say... I would say just do it. What... And and do the, the the radio that you want to listen to, um, yeah. you know. And I have been sort of swayed off of my path a little bit because when you get other people involved and they say, "Oh no, do it this way or that way," but actually you've got to be true to. And it's like I guess any any business really, you've you have your idea and your dream and how you want to set it out, and you 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 can get a little bit tempted by going down a road that somebody else thinks you should go down but i would mm -hmm. say produce and and do the the music the radio that you want to listen to At the end of the day you know it's it's about what you like i think that's really important i think but you could do it easily it doesn't take much you've got a website you've got to get a, a feed from a server where the music is you can have the music stored at home if you like i don't here because there's a problem with the wi-fi and the Wi-Fi isn't quick enough, so I've got, you know, I'm paying someone to store, uh, to have the music. I download the music here, and then it gets played out on a server in in Leeds, actually. And then there's the news team that I have. Um, I um, pay a, a yearly subscription, and they provide news on the hour. And they're they're okay. They're not bad. Um, it can be a little bit unreliable with the duration. So sometimes. It gets clipped and cut off, but the quality is good, you know. And be, being that I've been in broadcasting for decades, I, you know, there is a certain standard that you know you 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 want to achieve, and um, and also there's compliance as well, which you've got to think about legal. You know, you don't just want anybody just coming on your radio and and suddenly they're talking about stuff that they shouldn't be. There's there's all sorts of things you've got to take into account advertising has rules there's lots of rules and so the last week or so i've just been reading up uh, refreshing my memory or uh, you know my knowledge on um broadcast law based just the basics and broadcast law what you can and can't do and so on so um but i would say i would say put put something together it's very easy it's not difficult at all you know and i can certainly help you you know if you if you want to put something together without a doubt excuse me what did you have in mind so what sort of music <laughs> no it's not really like? music it's gonna, it's gonna, so i find myself listening to motivational stuff all oh. the time audible stuff all the time all to do with business all to do with um jim rowan les brown all these people i always listen to that stuff in my car and i right. just thought that and I thought there's there's not actually a radio channel or no. that actually for people for that that can also I mean, educate you, them as well. For, so it's an yeah. it's basically gonna be an entrepreneur's radio channel. You're no. right. I mean, if you could get them to all do podcasts and stuff for you, which I think would be great, you know. So you it's almost like Radio Four Four, for example, where you've got sections of half an hour here, fifteen minutes there. Um, and you repeat it. You repeat because people tend to listen to online radio for a lot shorter period of time. You know, they say 15, 20 minutes and then people tune away. Well, I want to break that. You know, I think that actually people, if it's good enough, people listen to 
to it for a lot longer but you can repeat stuff and 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 that's quite a new thing you know radio does need to go through i think a bit of a bit of a change really when you listen to what's what's available mm. and with those guys you could get in touch with them and say look you know it, 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 can i buy your podcast and podcasts shouldn't cost that much money i think really you know 30 40 50 quid maybe to to get them to give you the rights to play out uh, and you're doing them a favor as well you're publicizing them you're making sure that they get a credit you know at the end so i think i think that's a great idea and, and you add a bit of mental health in there as well which and even the music motivation Pardon? even the music even the music i was going to put some music in even the music was going to be motivational music right yeah, to break it up. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I have a dream. I it, don't know. It's some form of. Do you know what yeah. I mean? That, that's the kind of music that'll be on it as well. That, that's, yeah. I've had that idea for for ages. To be fair. Oh, I mean, it all Jeez, starts man. on a blank piece of paper, and you just start with your <laughs> ideas, really. <laughs> or one of four whiteboards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I've got a lot of whiteboards. Uh, yeah. All right. Ch ch sorry for. Sorry for yeah, that's all right. All I right, mean, just right. get in touch. If you need any help, just let me know. All right, mate. Thank Sorry, you. Patrick, there's a note for yeah. you from Hazel, and I see Crystal's got a name up. I'll let Hazel go first, explain what she needs to say about the radio on Facebook, and then we'll go to Crystal with her question. Sorry. So, Patrick, at first I said to you, Chris, podcast, and then you literally said what I said. But you can claim it as your own, don't worry. <laughs> and then I said, uh, radio-wise, because of your age bracket, you're looking to target definitely facebook um and then on right. that you can get those engagement posts like what songs do you want to hear or here are some of the songs we're going to be playing today but then also look at those national days weeks and months so if mm. it is national ice cream day what's your favorite ice cream that song and ask for kind yeah. of those relations to it because then yeah. people are going to engage on facebook that's going to grow your reach on facebook but it's going to get yeah. you more listeners because they want to hear the song that they suggested yeah okay i mean i will say this very quickly rob has been and it's, i'm not just saying that because he's on obviously <laughs> here with us but he has been amazing with coming up with ideas and that mm. sort of thing and and also we've done quite a bit of marketing but at the moment you know access to the platform is quite difficult you know we um we we are on alexa but it's difficult to to get alexa because there is another harmony at the moment so i'm trademarking uh, Harmony Radio, so I can then uh, squeeze them out, um, and also are on Google Play as well. And there's the website, but Amazing. people don't really listen to radio through a website, really. So, so DAB is definitely a way to go. Once I've got that set up, then I can go full on with the marketing and social yeah. media and everything. So, yeah. but make sure you about, have some uh, social media. Weeks. Make sure you have some social media in the run ups. What you don't want is to go live today oh and right. then there's nothing okay. on the page so have something so it looks like it's active okay. when when you do start going hell for leather okay sure i mean i i perhaps we can have a chat i'll get your details and and we can have a chat about ideas and I stuff i'll send it out to you afterwards patrick you'll get that i'll send it out to you if you, you very you, much you've got that okay and crystal have you forgotten your question <laughs> I think Thank you. Have remembered it it was um Hang on a second. I've lowered my hand now. Um, <laughs> that was quite a lot, a lot of stuff. So I think my initial thought was I need to get an accountant or a bookkeeper. And I was wondering what the, I can't remember her name. I don't think I've actually met her yeah, uh, yeah. today. Jane I was wondering how much her services were because I hate numbers. I hate numbers. And I've been on so many courses and I just need to claim back to claw back some money somehow. And like Rob said, I've made loads of losses. So I need to claw back some money. So I was wondering about getting her details or just looking into that. I account. will send you Jane's details afterwards to ring up. So Patrick, I'll send you oh, Hazel's God. details. <laughs> Crystal, I'll send you Jane's details yeah. okay, as, yeah. as well. Okay, so you get, this, you get the Chris. crossover. And Chris, no, you're going to send in Patrick's details. And Chris, I'll send yes. Patrick's details. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say as well, I did have something else. Um, so, Patrick, just I know that you've got a lot on your plate. Um, 
and I was just wondering where we were with um, possible interviews um, on your lovely radio station. Oh, I mean, I have to be honest, I have sort of ditched that, the whole interview thing. I, I've mm. stopped it. One, yeah. it, it, it is an automated platform and I'm trying not to well, put did say that. A, a lot of manpower in that way into it. And it is pure yeah. music. That okay. said, there could be little features that I could do further down the line. But as it is um, at the moment, it's, it's pretty much purely music. I'll take um, over the talk that idea. Don't worry, don't worry Crystal. Yeah. You can be the first person on Chris's radio station. That's what I, I think. think. <laughs> I, think. I, feel, I feel like Chris, now. If, if Chris is doing a <laughs> podcast um, and he's talking about the motivational side of things, it's a hand in hand yeah. for you to kind of talk about the crystals that are good for motivation. Also, bring Jane in as well, because the time that you're freeing up by doing the bookkeeping means that I can spend my time better on what I want to do. And the same with Jo, she's a VA, so she can use that, she can do all the admin bits that we don't like doing, so we can focus on the bigger picture, which hopefully Chris's radio show is talking about. So it's okay. really easy for those podcasts to come in and have those interviews. I haven't got a radio show yet. <laughs> I've got your first five interviews booked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. um, I was just going to say as well, Chris, I was actually, I, I don't know where I am with it now, but I'm trying to get through all the videos on BBE portal because my time with them is coming to an end in August. Um, but I did sort of start up a podcast with three other people. I've sort of parked it ish for the moment, but I'll be looking to re go into that. Um, and it's a lot of work. It's a hell of a lot of work. I didn't realise like a lot. Um, but when I go into it, it may be something we can discuss. You know, where I don't know where you'll be in terms of the whole radio thing, but wherever it is, maybe it's something we can talk about um to get more exposure I don't know depends on the other three and it depends where I'm at because at the moment I've, it's sort of parked to the minute so yeah maybe that's something we can talk about a bit later yeah yeah definitely obviously it's just well it, it's been an idea for years every time yeah. I go into my car and stick in a stick an audible or stick on something I'm thinking to myself why isn't there a radio station like this yeah um, and from what I know, there isn't a radio station out there. So I just thought while Patrick showed, I'd ask him a few questions. And I don't yeah. know how I'm, how feasible, how expensive it would be, the time cool. the time it would take. Of course, but yeah, I've 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 I thought about uh, a, a, an entrepreneur's radio station for a while. Yeah, I, I think it's a great it. idea, and there's a gap, definitely. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think there's a gap. But I think it's something we can talk about, maybe potentially. I need to see where I'm at with our podcast, um, maybe in a month or so. So maybe it's something we can touch base on a bit later. I but don't know, yeah, Crystal, but I'm going to be brutally honest. You've got your fingers in way too many pies. I know, I and know. And this is why you're not... It might feel like... So if I... Done because <laughs> you're trying to do everything, and it's, it's just going to, it's going to kill you. Like, it's not going to help your business, not going to help you either. It's going to burn I, you out. Yeah. Thank you, Jane. Now I don't feel like a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> person. You're not a bad person. That's why I've parked the podcast thing for a little bit, because it was starting to get a bit overwhelming. And the guy that was driving it had literally parked his business stuff. And I was a bit like, is he expecting us to do all the same? Because I was like, holy crap. <laughs> So I but, think that's why I got taken for you, out. For you, Crystal, I heard a comment the other day, and it's quite a good comment. And what you do is, what, what when it? you go to do something for your business, you look at it and you say to yourself, is this going to improve my business today? Yes mm. or no? If the answer is no, which most times it is, is a podcast going to your business? No. Then they say to you, don't do it. Don't even, don't just put it, mm. just push it away and just don't do it because... Every time you take on one more thing, you're diluting mm -hmm. down the core of what you're supposed to be doing. And then you end up not doing the core, but doing all the other stuff. And that's no. why you're so, the reason why you're so stressed is because you try yeah. to do podcasts here, you try to do this here, you try to learn that yeah. there. And, you know, and, and the things you do is, it's just, it, it just, 
nothing and then you end up doing nothing 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 yeah no exactly so that's why I don't not to go too far into this but this is why I just had to kind of you know it was actually the others that was like I think you just got a bit too much on your plate right now so yeah yeah I kind of sort of have got a little bit too much on my plate Mm -hmm. but once the BBE course comes to an end in August and I've ran through all the videos then I think it would be a bit better I haven't got I've only got two more courses and it's just a few days here and a few days there um and then I would have learned the stuff and I've dropped my shifts down to twice a week and then I need to look at things like Covent Garden Market which I uh, still haven't applied for and uh <laughs> and a the other to do about yeah see, 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 see the things to the things you should be doing like crystal you need this oh don't start with me what is that okay what well, this is okay this is my day and these are the things that are important i've got to do during the day okay if it's not on the list it doesn't exist simple as that oh, he didn't phone me yeah <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was coming look, Where's my okay. name on that? look patrick you're not you're not on my list I can't call you, yeah? <laughs> okay, so no. So I have I have two lists. One list of things I've got to do, and the second list is people I've got to call. Okay? Oh, so that. what that does is then, and then, but the calls, I said to myself, I do at a certain time. Yeah. Otherwise, what I was doing was, I was flittering from one thing to the other, to the other, to the yeah. other. And then yeah. what was happening was, I wasn't getting anything done. When now... Yeah. I can get all my calls done. I didn't call Patrick back because I was I was playing video games. Tell the truth, Patrick. Honestly, so um, <laughs> you're honest. At least you're honest. Wow. Okay. Wow. But One what, word for that. Wow. I can't believe I was waiting all day, everybody, all day for this call. I mean, wow. Okay. Right, Patrick. What have I said? Was I on your list? Wow. No, you shouldn't have waited for me. I wasn't on I'll the list, be honest, Patrick. Patrick. If I was you, I'd ruin my birthday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's don't sad. worry, Patrick. You, don't wow. worry. You've got you you've go. got more coming. <laughs> Pac Man was more important. Wow. Oh, <laughs> you're too funny. Um, wow. Thank you for the oh, Space Raiders, Raiders was more important. Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Next, <laughs> let me write write a note down. Need to be politer. <laughs> 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 and stuff but, oh, but, but, but the thing is it's all, I mean it all ties together um we try and do we try and do I think most of us try and do too much social media which means yeah. we're not doing any correctly at all yeah, okay yeah. Because, but that's the thing and then we, same as work we try and do too many things because we think right I need to do this and that yeah. to grow my business got to do that to grow my business and then what we're not doing is actually growing the business yeah. Okay, that's yeah. why I put the list together because what it does is it's not meant to be fixed in stone. What it does is it gives me a guidance of what I mm. need to get done every day to make the business mm. run. And they're the core. Mm. Once I've done the core, I can then go off and do things like Patrick, play video games and other things around the, you know, um to, to do. Okay, you know, it's like that. And it's also things, it's also things about if you're working loads of hours as well it means we're doing something wrong because like for instance like the pat we shouldn't be doing our bookkeeping if you're not a bookkeeper don't do bookkeeping i don't go anywhere near my books whatsoever i don't never have done never will do not interested in it there's people far better than me at doing it so hand it over that way you are moving stress and so yeah. and, and also time it's more cost yeah. effective to give someone else to do it who's gonna do it properly the first time than you do it wrong Hand it to James. He's got to spend more time undoing it and then redoing it again. It's a, it's it's it's, it's an offset. So you know, and then there's Ooh, all different it. things we can use. James put stuff in the chat. How do I get to the chat? Here we go. See. <laughs> okay, 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 the chat. Hey, hey, guys! I had one comment here. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Come on. How do I get to the chat? Okay, on, on that one. But what I'll do is I will do another email and share out um, all Hazel's stuff, what she does. But it's definitely worth talking to her anyway, because not just that, it's yeah. also content. Yeah, yeah. Social media is a strange beast. Is not, it's not just being on social media. It's knowing what to write and when to write it. 
to make sure you're posting the right thing at the right time. You know, and that's through trial and error. Everyone says to me, oh, so if I post on Facebook, what time should I do it? But it depends when your audience is there and it depends what you're selling to your audience. So there's no cut and dry. It's a, it is purely trial and error. So it's the same thing a few times. See what, see when you get the most engagement. Is it Saturday at 10 o'clock? Is it a Friday evening? Is it Monday morning? And you need to figure that out by posting and seeing when people engage. I do. I do my posts Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays on LinkedIn and Facebook. But okay. see, I'm not selling a product. Mm. I'm selling a service. And where obviously someone looking for crystals from crystal, um, <laughs> obviously if there is, you know, a crystal in front of you mm. and explains what it does, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a clue yeah, um, yeah. unless I could read to see what it was, then obviously if I was to buy a crystal, then that would obviously... I'd come back to look because there may be some, something that would be nice as a present for somebody else. Mm -hmm. But obviously bookkeeping, uh, as Rob said, you know, I know a lot of people that have started up their business, been going three months, six months. They then thought, oh, no books have been done or they've tried to do it themselves. Yeah. So actually, actually, my time's better spent on what I actually do and then hand their books over and then somebody has to, as Rob said, take it all to bits to restart again. So it's really better, unless you are a qualified bookkeeper or you've worked in accounts or whatever, to let somebody from day one start doing your books so that when it comes up to the first year, it's all done, given to the accountant, or there may be someone that says, actually, you do my books, Jane, and I'll do my tax return, so don't do that myself. I do my own, but I don't know anybody else's. So, okay. You know, um, it is, I, do, I know what I do, but to get somebody, and Rob also has, has said, Somebody coming to my website to look at me, they don't know me, do they? Mm. So what's going to make them come back again and look? And are they going to pick up the phone and talk to me and, you know, have a little bit of interaction? And, and will it make them think, well, actually, yes, you know, she's been doing this for a long time. Um, she's fully insured. She's got all the qualifications. We've got to learn. Or, or, or start to trust me with their account. So, so I'm I'm a numbers person, not a talky person. And what I would what I would say also, I would, I would much somebody just come to the door with a bag of receipts and invoices, and I turn that into a nice, pretty profit and loss balance sheet. Um, you know, an audit trail so I can go, everything's on there and, you know, you're doing well, um, but are you looking to grow the business? Yes, you are. And obviously help in that way and then hand it over to the accountant who can actually say, yeah, everything's fine, but legally we can move some stuff around to help you with your tax because that's what an accountant is. An accountant's obviously somebody that can save you tax money, which we all like to save tax money, don't we? No, well, yeah. What I would say is also, um, if people are worried about costs of things, they could do an exchange of service. So, for example, if, a, if an accountant is interested in your crystals, instead of them paying for it, um, and you can't do anything with with numbers or you don't like numbers maybe they can be an exchange of services yeah i think i yeah. just need to crack the only... on and get it done yeah. really yeah. the only thing chris ethical that shouldn't be done uh so there you go chris okay yeah so because if 
Me, 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 because my governing body is the ICB, Institute of Certified Bookkeepers, is also AAT. Um, the, if I was to be found that I was doing Crystal's accounts, she has to be on a, a portal for AML. I have to, I have to do anti more anti money money laundering report laundering, yeah. for everybody I work with for. Um, so obviously, if Crystal was on my AML report, but there was no invoices being sent mm. to her, then mm. they would obviously start looking into me what I was doing. So I am. Yes, I, I, you know, I just I'm, meant in general. I just meant in general. I didn't mean this. No, no, it's a good idea. To be honest, yeah. And yeah. yeah, we've done a lot of service swaps when we started the business. But I think the most important thing about outsourcing is very often, as a new business, you look at it as an extra cost. Actually, yeah, for me yeah. to do the bookkeeping, it would take me four hours. In that time, I could earn two hundred pounds. Well, if it takes you an hour and that costs me thirty quid, well, that's brilliant. I've saved money. And I think yeah. when you're outsourcing, you need to look at it that way instead of this is costing me that much. Actually, yeah. how much is it saving me? And I, I joke yeah. with friends, I'm like a little princess because like we have a cleaner because it takes me four hours to clean, but it'd be much quicker and cheaper to pay a cleaner to come in and clean the house. Yeah, so yeah. It's really... to get a car wash. It takes me two, three hours. So it's thinking yeah. about how long it takes you. And be a princess, men as well. Be that person that goes, actually, my time is worth more doing this instead of washing the car. Just I'm thinking the outsourcing thing needed to happen because I, I hate numbers and I've tried to get to grips with it. And I know that I didn't meet the threshold to submit a tax return, so I didn't. Um, so it was fine. But then, actually, Rob keeps telling me, you know, you can claim back on your printing and, you know, you can claim back on this and you can claim back on that. And I'm just like, oh, for the love of God. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I'll, I'll give you one thing. I When I was freelancing, I had to do all my books myself. And mm. really, I tried to get myself once a month, every month, just to grab the receipt and to organise oh, everything. By, so by the summer, when I'm, I have to return in September, which is the worst month for me because I want to be outside and enjoying life and enjoying the sun mm. and everything but so the worst thing for me would be to have a week where if I hadn't done and not every year did I or all the time did I do it monthly yeah. but yeah, um, if it, you know I don't want to spend a week in June or July doing my you know yeah. sorting out my books really yeah. so yeah. And I've learned, and I... being organized is really yeah, sorry. sorry something I've learned and I asked Rob do you, would you value a bookkeeper if they were to do your books, we'll say monthly, because most people have their books done monthly. Would you value a bookkeeper who's doing your accounts monthly because on a Saturday morning, you like to take your son, your grandson, your grandchildren swimming? or mm. play football, or mm. to the cinema, or Saturday yeah. mornings, you have to do your bookkeeping. And the other thing is, do you look at a bookkeeper as an expense of the business, or do you look at them as an investment in your business? Because if you've got a bookkeeper... You're not doing the books. So it's giving you yeah. more time to either one, do weekend stuff, or yeah. two, work on your business because you know what you're doing and you know that you probably want to grow the business. Um, because a lot of people that I've worked for in the past wanted it cheap and I wasn't an investment. Uh. I think the other thing is the skill as well. I mean, yes, I could do it myself. Would I do it right? Probably not. Would I enjoy mm. doing it? No, I wouldn't enjoy doing it. I'm exactly the same as Patrick. Numbers aren't my thing. I yeah. will put it off and I'll put it off and I'll put it off. And yeah. then I've then putting that pressure. Like you're doing, Christy, with lots of things in your life. You're putting that pressure on yourself because you've not done it. And then that gets you more work. You put it off even more. 
And the first thing I outsourced was my bookkeeping for exactly that reason. Yeah. I really enjoyed doing it. I was making mistakes. It was taking me so long to do it. And actually, I was probably putting it off for longer than it took me to do it. Yeah. I That's think not why like... I run my own business. I don't run my own business to do things I don't enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Crystal, I think... I, think, I, think, I think more for you, if I, I'm, I'm, I'm very similar to you, is that you need to find out, get one of Rob's sheets and uh, an organisation. I know, I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, everyone. And I'm also actually thinking about taking the steps to, you know, hire a bookkeeper and accountant. So no, but well, I'd say, honestly, I'd say, I'd say just Rob's, I, I should do, I should do the same because I'm one of these people who always comes up with ideas is, is, yeah. is literally on a Sunday night or on a Sunday during the day, just say, I'm going to spend an hour planning what I'm going to do Monday to Friday. Yeah. Certain hours of the day. And then at least you've got a, at least you've got some form of a schedule. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I think that I think that will help you more than anything, and and obviously outsourcing stuff that you don't like doing. Yeah, I, definitely the numbers thing is just like a headache because Rob keeps telling me about all these costs that I can claim back for, and I'm just like, really? <laughs> well, Crystal, so, all the money you've spent on shows and stuff are losses. And that's got to be put into, and all that needs to be put into the business now. That all needs to be put in the business. Because then you start, you start off a loss. Then you can then get that. Then as you make money, you get it all back. So the, so you, until you get your money back, technically you're getting, or so you're not paying the government back. You get it back. If you don't do it, the government's going to take it. So yeah. either way, you've got to do something now to stop that. Okay. And all you spent right. a lot I'm of money, Crystal. So. You spent you you spent thousands, you, 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 so you got to get that all back. I know, I know. I have spent thousands. You start yeah, with you your want... house. You start. You you work from home. This the, you, we're mm. we're looking at you in your office, right? That well, is a cost, business. and yeah. and and if you're it's a mortgage or if it's rent, that is rebatable, definitely. Oh my God! So, wow! And those insurance all sorts of things. <laughs> Insurance. If I call correctly, Crystal, you can claim back part of your gas bill, part of your electric bill, all sorts yep. of stuff. You really can. You really, you really can. You'd be so daggered what you can get back. Yeah, you should okay. be paying very little tax. Very little tax. Okay, I'll look into it. I no, I'll do something about it. Better than looking into it, I will do something about it. You're gonna do it. Do. You're gonna do it tomorrow on your list tomorrow. On your you're list. gonna say ring First Jane. Thing. And this is about survival. If you if if no, money's tight, no, this no. was this is where you'll save your money definitely. Mm. And then what's an, really annoying is in my normal day job because I'm doing bank to pay off all this debt, which I've now got to about three thousand eight hundred, which was better from six k. Um, well done. Yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you. I've been working my tail end off to try and get yeah, that. That's down. a massive achievement. Well done. Thank you. Um, and anyway, I yeah. So I can't remember my point, but my point was, um, I just need to get it sorted. So I'm, I'm just going to get it sorted. I'm going to get it done. And oh, the thing about the tax, right? These bastards. Sorry, I swore, but that's how I feel about it. But these bastards, so bank, I think I put down is one job, but it was fine because I wasn't making any money in my business. So they then t changed my tax code, which actually I told Rob about. But then, you know, you try and go online. It's really impossible. You try and phone them. There's some sort of problem with the phone lines. I'm like, oh, my God, I just want to get That's this. Crazy, about two hours waiting. Yeah. yeah. And then you get cut yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, yeah and they oh. changed my tax code because i was getting for three shifts i was getting 700 and something pounds and now it's dropped down to 619 and i'm like okay so as a band six nurse that's bank i'm getting paid <clears throat> for one pounds an hour well, that's fucking shit isn't it <laughs> so i'm like that's not right um, that is not right and I know that's not right because they've changed something and I'm making a loss but it's probably because I've not submitted my um taxes but then they said on the website if it was less than a grand or something you don't have to submit it so I didn't so yeah but, <laughs> but just really so... if you have got your crystal business it is better to let them know that you're obviously running a loss because it yeah. may take you 
you know, a year to recuperate yeah. all your expenses. And like Rob yeah. said, if you've paid out a lot more and you haven't put it through yeah. your business, yeah, then yeah, yeah. more money to claim. So okay. awesome. Yeah. No, no I'll, I'll... If, you're, if, you're, if you're paying taxes to them and your business is losing money, that is up that you can go back, you can go back to them and go, I've lost money here. So you can take yeah. it back here. So that's why you, yeah, you, yeah, you might find yourself getting lots of it back all of a sudden. Oh, good. Well, fucking well, do that like tomorrow after I get my video done. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to have a rant about accounts and money. No, 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 no. You, and you, you, you and your easy. anger issue problems, Crystal. Well, I've got so many <laughs> of them. <laughs> get, get those crystals out and get them to help you sort oh, of yeah. organize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one's going to be for abundance. I'm waiting for the money to fall out of the sky. <laughs> oh. I do find when it comes to organization wise, instead of still, so like now I've got everything prepped on my computer ready for tomorrow morning. So as soon as I start, it's ready. I haven't got to do that. Oh, what should I do today? Should I do this? I might do this. Everything yeah. I need to do tomorrow. And I'll literally spend the last half an hour before I leave my desk is prepping for the next day. And I just, yeah, yeah. it's such a stronger start to the day because I'm like, I know what I'm doing. Boom. And that's really helped me. I think, uh, I think that's what I need to do, to be honest. I think it's the organisation thing that I lack. Uh, well, you see, you see, right, Crystal. Here's the thing. Remember this. I told you every day now. I try and stop working at five thirty, which means at five o'clock, it actually um, it sells me to start winding down. That's okay. Good. And then I made this little poster for myself that if I hope will work here. Can you? Yeah, what does it stop working at five thirty? Even superheroes take a break. I love it. He's a <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it's it's. It's in front of you all the time. So because otherwise what will happen with me is I could get up at seven, six in the morning, start working mm -hmm. and still be working at nine at night because I'll just get into a zone and carry on. Yeah. But the thing is, but I'm not doing anything really. I'm just going around in circles and doing bits yeah. and pieces, but not achieving anything. And by doing that schedule, Crystal, I've got my work day down to about seven hours. Yeah. I'm going okay. to plan out and, day. <laughs> and it is, and it's just a bit, it's, it's hard. I mean, Chris is the same as me. We, I have, I still, I do, I still have the whiteboard around me, but the main thing is I know what I've got to do. Anything mm. else is stuff that is not really important. Mm. I can get around. Remember, I'm just here. I just have my to do list and I write that at the beginning of every, at the end of every day, ready for the next day. It's there ready. Yeah, that's it. That's, so that's, as soon as I get in, my head's ready on what I need to do. And that's, and that's it, Crystal. And then that will concentrate you. And then the simple thing is this treat, treat your business like a nightclub. If it's not on the list, it's not coming in. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> simple, simple as that. Yeah. No, I thought you meant wake up and get pissed. <laughs> I was on. I was completely <laughs> for that. <laughs> Should we all do it tomorrow? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm in. <laughs> so it, it, it is, and it just it just makes anything, you know, it just makes everything a lot easier. It's enabled just, me to basically do more. me and I put something in my diary for tomorrow. <laughs> yes, that's, that's it, you see. It's not writing out it's Patrick, tomorrow's schedule. Is Patrick doing the music for the nightclub? Patrick, are you ready for the music from the nightclub? Say that again, yeah. sorry, Chris. As long as it's 80s. I said, yeah. Patrick, are you ready for yeah. the music for this nightclub? Let's do it. Shake. <laughs> I'm a shit dog. You've got to be the 80s, tech. Patrick. Well, 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 Jane, if you like the 80s, you've got to listen to Harmony Radio. Yeah, your, 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 I yeah. play eighties and nineties for breakfast. I, so. I love, I love eighties music. Yeah, Brilliant. love eighties. Right. On Saturday like, morning, I put the radio on. I have flashbacks when I had hair and stuff. Is that right, Patrick? Oh, yeah, we had. Oh God, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I was wondering where we were going to get this. Come on, then have a look. <laughs> have a look at the hair, when I, had, when, I had, when I had hair, flat stomach. Yeah, no, so these these sorts of you know, these things, Patrick. Yeah, the good old days. I saw yeah. it. I saw a clip of you, Rob. I saw a clip of you dancing. What was it with one of those meerkats? Yeah. Was it or something? <laughs> Oh, honestly, at the, at, honestly at the, it was going round and round and round, but I must have watched it about for 15 minutes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what I did was I took a picture of me dancing. At a, it was a, the Cambridge Soul Festival. And I think it was, um, who was in the background playing? I think it was Soul to Soul. So I did a video of me. I then superimposed a little like dancing meerkat next to me and then just, then it was real. 
as that. Was that, um, was that recent, the yeah. Cambridge? Ah, yeah. right. Yes, about, about two weeks ago. It was freezing. <laughs> The oh, thing that struck me was he didn't care that there were people around him just watching. He, he had no shame whatsoever. So I think next time you do that, you've got to have the get up. You've got to have the gear. You've got to have the afro and the headband and <laughs> leg warmers. <laughs> Patrick, have you not learned? I um, if you ask anyone what I like, I do. I do the village fate every year, and last year we had these. Um, I think there were jazz dancers there. And the guy turns around to Vampy, my wife, and goes, do you think if I ask Robert? And by the time he said that, I was already up ready to dance. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's go. Let's go on. Yeah. She went, please don't. And my kids go, please don't ask him. He'll only embarrass us. Oh, it doesn't matter to me, Patrick. If there's a chance to get up and show off, okay, let's let's do it. Okay. Really? You know, life's, life's too short kids. to say no. If I'm with my stepkids, I will. Yeah. Come on my own, I won't. But if I'm with the stepkids, I will do anything I can to embarrass them. <laughs> I mean, before we go, one thing for this patch oh, was this. We was at the, it was Jamie Oliver's Great Feastable of all things. And my daughter must have been 13 at the time. And as I pointed out to her, she was completely wearing clothes that were inappropriate for a 13-year-old. So oh. we had a row, okay? She went out dressed like that. And then she moaned to me. And she goes, Dad, Dad. Everyone's staring at me. I said, not a problem. So I started body popping. She goes, now you're embarrassing me. So I cried and ran off. <laughs> <laughs> so those are right. <laughs> I go, but they still having a dad me. like you. So yeah, but no, <laughs> listen, this has been great. Hazel, okay. I'll get I think you'll get a few phone calls about helping people out with their um social media because it is it is it's one of these strange things, social media, where we know how it works, but we don't know how it works. Does that make yeah. sense? It's different for everyone, and that's the problem. I think when we met, we spoke about the fact that some people are there, oh, my God, you've got to be on Instagram. It's great for my business. Yes, it's great for your business because you're just completely different to everyone else's business. Mm. So it's about finding the right one. So I've just put my email in the chat. So do email yeah. me. And we'll I've just wrote it down. That. You'll get an email yeah. from me, Hazel. I am on holiday <laughs> from Monday for two <laughs> weeks. So I'm not ignoring oh. you. I'm just drunk. After <laughs> 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 your holiday, Hazel. Where, where, where Patrick, with me, Patrick, I'm just ignoring you, okay? Remember that one, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I felt it today. <laughs> so I'll find you. Don't worry. I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Listen, thanks for that, guys. Thanks, Hazel. Okay, for Thank that. Thank you for we having will, me. Thank we, you. We, we will things. And I think next time, is if I think... Joe's still here. We need to get Joe on to explain what she, how she can help us as well. Yeah. With um, with uh, having a having a, a VA or PA or not quite too sure what we call people now. It's all it's all isn't it with names and stuff. So um, is it a VA, a virtual assistant? Oh. That's what she calls herself. I think, I think it's a virtual assistant. Yeah. A VA, yes. Yeah. Okay, so so yeah, Thank so we'll you very get... much, everybody. Nice yeah. to see you. And listen, guys, have a have a nice evening. And um, I shall either be crying on Monday or smiling, depending on the England game on Saturday evening. Patrick. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Don't oh, we're in Turkey. If this all happens, we are in Turkey and England play Turkey. And I don't oh. know how I feel about it. So yeah, I will be watching at the weekend. Am I am I the only person who loves football but as an Zero uh, oomph for England. I have zero oh. oomph for England. Oh. It's because oh. they're crap. No, but I never, I swear, I, I swear oh, on no. Hold on. Everybody else is a bit crap as well, I think. Yeah. No, I support, come on, God. I support Liverpool and I'm really passionate about it. And when they're on, I'm. Me too. But when it's England, when it's England I'm just like. But you've yeah, got to. It's the British mean. thing. You were English. We need to support them. It's just what yeah, you but do. It's... I know, but there's no oomph. I'm like, my mates are going, do you want to come down and come watch you? And I went, no, I'll just watch your own, not drink. I'm just like, there's nothing there. There's no... Yeah. Va -va -va there's no va va voom. <laughs> Love this. And there you, go. There, there, there you go, Patrick. A fellow Liverpool supporter. I'd be yeah. more upset yeah, well done, Chris. Lost. I'd rather Liverpool. This is this is. I'd rather Liverpool won the European Cup or the league than England won the won, won a trophy. Right, I'm I mean, out. I know where you're coming. Yeah. I know where you're coming from, but I just want to get England to win something so we can move on. 
you know. None the South, <laughs> none the South Gate, yeah. none the South Gate. No thanks, he's rubbish. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. Right, guys. See you later. Bye. 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 See you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.